Congratulations, first of all. Uh, well deserved. What did you learn about journalism that you never knew before? Um, I think we, uh, we knew that journalists were important, but I don't think we understood the depth of the importance of investigative journalism, um, and that's just good boots on the ground, local reporting, and the impact that it can have on a global scale. Um, it has just uh, become abundantly clear to us. We're going to five, five and then 228. In your speech, you talked about uh, you had a message for the Pope. Do you think that message is actually going to be received, that he's going to think about that, that it's actually going to do something? First of all, I, I don't remember anything that I said at this point. And um, I don't know if anyone watches this show. Uh, but if they do, I hope so. I hope that you, uh, as journalists uh, in here and throughout the world, will help resonate our message all the way to the Vatican. And, and maybe we can have some real change at this point. That's, that's what we hope to accomplish. That's what this was really about for all of us, is to, is to talk about this film um, and what, what happened. And, 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 and because these, these things are still happening, the story of Spotlight uh, has, has really just begun. So. We're going to 228 and then 118. Hi, Jeannie Wolf, congratulations. You have talked so much, and it's very important, the message, the mission of this film. What you won for was getting that message across in the most artistic way. What were the, the filmic, artistic, you know, challenges of making this film? And, and you knew that audiences had to respond to it to make the message bigger. Well, I think that um, Tom McCarthy and Josh Singer wrote a really, really beautiful screenplay that w was um, in conjunction with talking to, it was kind of their own investigation in, into, into what happened. And I think that Tom did a really great job of directing the movie in a way that was, was very subtle and oddly entertaining. You know, there was a thriller aspect to the way the story unfolded. And I think that it's a real testament to Tom's direction and, and their screenplay, the, the way that they developed the story, because, you know, the log line of the story is not very commercial you're not in this room. And I think that they did a really great job and I think the performances of the ensemble cast were so subtle and the actors were so generous that it, it really allowed the story to come through in a way, in a way that's actually difficult. I think, um, I always like to say Tom hit a very small bullseye because I think if you're off by a little bit, you're, you're off by a lot. And it was really um, beautifully executed from a script point of view and execution point of view and the actors really were amazing, so. We're going to 118 and then 123. Hi, Pia Sonori with Reuters here. Uh, congratulations on your win. I just wanted to know a little bit about why you wanted to take this film to Open Road and how they supported you with it. Where are you? You want to do it? You go ahead. Uh, you know, Open Road and Participant Media in particular uh, have, have been uh, great champions of, of film and creating a different option uh, for filmmakers. Uh, I personally hadn't worked uh, very much with Open Road just a little bit before, and they're extraordinary partners. And uh, Steve and I have done many movies with Participant, who um, are also really courageous uh, with the chances they'll take uh, on making films. They make great films. So that partnership seemed like a terrific one for us, and, and they were involved from, from the jump. So we're really excited that uh, we brought this home for them, too. We're going to 123 and then 176. Uh, Jeff Edgers, Washington Post, congratulations. Thank They're thank awesome. Very happy. Yeah, exactly. Uh, which yeah. will be good for me for a couple days. Great. Uh, <laughs> now, I don't want to bring you down, but you know, this is a very rare best picture that has won only two awards. And I wondered if you had any thoughts on why that might be. And uh, I know you're probably not disappointed, but. <laughs> I think this is a huge testament to the Academy, to recognizing, I think, um, uh, the, its members recognize just the, the global, the import of this, of our film, the, uh, the impact that it's having and continuing to have. Um, and I think that that speaks uh, volumes to, um, uh, to this filmmaking community and, and to the power of film. 176, and then we'll go to 277. Right. Congratulations Thank to you, you all Thank on your you. win tonight. Um, something that you handled very well in the film, I thought, was uh, the effect that the breaking story had on the city of Boston itself as a character. Can you talk a little bit about the reception you had when you brought the story forth to shoot 
in, in Boston and maybe the help that you got from the film commissioner there or any other people that might have participated? I know about the Globe, but other people. Sorry, I'm short. Um, I think that initially we thought we were going to get a lot more um, um, restraint, than, uh, not restraint, um, what's the word? Resistance, excuse me, I can't think. This just happened um, that, than, than we actually had, um, and we, you know, we were welcomed with open arms in Boston, um, and you know, many people came forward and told us their personal stories and how this has affected them, and that was emotional and moving to all of us. So, um, thank you to the city of Boston for um, for really standing behind us. We're going to two seventy seven, and then we'll wrap it up with twenty. Hi. 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 Congratulations. Um, so. I was wondering if uh, making this film changed your perception on religion and made you question your own religious uh, feelings, upbringing, beliefs. What did it do to you? So I don't think it really changed our, our look at um, how we viewed religion. I think it was more about the institution than it was an attack on religion. Um, so whether it's a religious institution or it's um, flint with water or if it's a government agency, um, that's really the way we looked at it because it was not an attack in any way on Catholicism. It really was uh, um, the institutional issues. And we'll wrap it up here with 20. Hi, uh, Warren Hi. Levinson from the Associated Press. This was at least a little bit of a surprise. So were you expecting to hear your name called? Uh, it was a huge surprise for us. Um, but I had, I had visualized this at my wife's um, uh, suggestion for many months. And in my visualization of this evening, Morgan Freeman always was the person who came out and said, Spotlight. <laughs> It's a true story. Uh, and then my wife was visualizing it, and she always, uh, I always asked her, where were you, where were we sitting? And she said, well, the left side. And then yesterday we got our tickets, and I asked her what row in her visualization. She said row eight, and we were in the eighth row. So I felt really good about that. So I guess I'm saying there may be some divine intervention in the win for Spotlight, which is ironic, I'm sure. But um, no, we were all very delighted. I mean, Completely surprised. I think, I think anybody who expects to win an Oscar, I think Leo was surprised tonight. And uh, when you actually hear your name called, it's the most, I don't know, I, I don't know how you can describe that emotion. Um, I don't have words for it, but I think we were all genuinely, like, thrilled to the core. And, and not just because it's a great personal accomplishment for us and for our companies, but it's, it's really... Uh, it's really an opportunity to, to bring this conversation to a world stage. And, uh, and for that, we're really grateful. So thank you, too. And thank you, guys, because I think nobody looks at what you do and says thank you, right? So we are very grateful that you do what you do. Um, and, and we're also sorry that it took us so long to get here. And it, I'm going to just say one other thing. It was also really meaningful to us because we had all of our reporters and a survivor in the audience tonight. So it really was personal. So thank you guys very much.